hello friends welcome back to my channel hope all of you are doing well so today's topic of discussion is crowd strike microsoft outage a faulty update from crowd strike caused one of the largest global outages in recent memory here's an overview of crowd strike and its history crowd strike outage computer systems across the world were crippled on friday due to faulty software update to windows system from crowdstrike a look at crowdstrike a us company that has carved a niche for itself in the cyber security space what is crowdstrike how did its update for microsoft bring the world to a standstill the last 24 hours have been have seen the world's biggest ever it outage cripple Computer systems across the globe. Friday's tech glitch led to chaos across sectors, with aviation bearing the brunt of inaccessible systems. The whole issue was due to a software update to Microsoft Azure from CrowdStrike that went horribly wrong. The faulty update led to a blue screen of death on thousands of PCs that had updated their software. Here's why that is and what Microsoft said contributed to the issue in the first place. Most have heard about CrowdStrike problem and perhaps were impacted by it in some way. Friday's outage was caused by a buggy update sent to corporate clients by CrowdStrike, one of hundreds of cybersecurity firms that have built a business promising to make Windows more secure. CrowdStrike's Falcon system has privileged access to computer's kernel. It means that software developers can create software which interacts with computer's OS at a deep level which contributed to the bug being so devastating. Why home computers were not affected by global Microsoft outage? From airlines to news channels, the glitch led to the crashing of IT systems disrupting the daily proceedings. Microsoft, the US-based tech giant, estimated that 8.5 million computers worldwide were affected due to the outage. The tech glitch happened on July 19th after CrowdStrike, a cybersecurity software company, rolled out its routine update. In a blog post, Microsoft stated, "We currently estimate that CrowdStrike's update affected 8.5 million Windows devices." What caused this outage? This is still a little unclear. CrowdStrike is known for producing antivirus software intended to prevent hackers from causing this very type of disruption. According to CrowdStrike boss George Kurz, the issues are only impacting Windows PCs and no one of no other operating systems and were caused by a defect in the recent update. The issue has been identified, isolated and fixed has been deployed, he said. This is not a security incident or cyber attack. What exactly went wrong with the update is yet to be revealed. But as a potential fix involves deleting a single file, it is possible just one wrong file could be at the root of all the mayhem. When will that be fixed? It could be take some time. CrowdStrike's Mr. Kurz, speaking to NBC News, said that it was firm's mission to make sure every one of its customers recovered from completely from the outage we are deeply sorry for the impact that we have caused to customers to travelers to anyone affected by this including our companies he said he has since told cnbc that while some systems can be fixed quickly for others it could be hours and could be a bit longer crowdstrike has issued its fix but according to those in the know it will have to be applied separately to each and every device affected Computers will require a manual reboot in safe mode causing the massive headache for IT departments everywhere. What's the solution? Something important to be noted here is that personal devices like your home computer or mobile phone are unlikely to have been affected. This outage is impacting businesses. Microsoft is advising clients to try a classic method to get things working, turning it on and off again. 
in some cases up to 15 times. The tech giant said this has worked for some users of virtual machines, computers which are accessed remotely. Several reboots, as many as 15 have been reported, may be required, but overall feedback is that reboots are effective troubleshooting step at this stage. It's also telling customers with more in-depth computer knowledge that they should delete a certain file, the same solution one CrowdStrike employee has been sharing on social media. But this fix is intended for experts and IT professionals, not regular users. Which airports have been affected? Problems have emerged across the world, but were first noticed in Australia and possibly felt most severely in the air travel industry with more than 3,300 flights cancelled globally. UK airports saw delays with long queues at London's Stansted and Gatwick. Ryanair said it had been forced to cancel a small number of flights on 19 July and advised passengers to log on to their Ryanair account on its word back online to see what their options are. British Airways also cancelled several flights. Several US airlines, notably United, Delta, American Airlines, grounded their flights around the globe for much of Friday. Australian carriers Virgin Australia and Jetstar also had to delay or cancel flights. Airports in Tokyo, Amsterdam and Delhi were also impacted. Meanwhile, the problems have also hit payment systems, banking and healthcare providers around the world, railway companies including Britain's biggest which runs Southern, Thameslink, Gateway Express and Great Northern warned passengers to expect delays. In Alaska, 911 emergency service was affected while Sky News was off air for several hours on Friday morning, unable to broadcast. How could it impact me? The outage might also impact people getting paid on time. Melanie Pizet, head of Global Payroll Association, told PN News Agency that she has been contacted by numerous clients who couldn't access their payroll software. She said the outage could mean firms were unable to process staff payments this week, but there may be a knock-on effect too. We could see a backlog with regard to processing payrolls for coming month end, which may delay employees from receiving their monthly wage. If you are worried about your own personal devices, which have come, we have come with some good news. The software at the center of this outage is generally used by businesses, which means that most people's personal computers won't be impacted.